Hello and welcome to race 11 of the Utacom Track Series here at the Indianapolis Speedway. Concerning last week at the All-Star Challenge, they've told Matt Evans and John Sidion to stay away from each other on track. They've given them a warning. If any trouble happens between them, they will penalize them and ban them from the next race. 25 cars on our entry list today. Three cars failed to qualify. They'll be coming up soon. Russell R. Curie, Jeff Evans, and Michelle Sidino. Jeff Evans, this will be his last race. He has pulled the 45 car out for every other race indefinitely. Robert DeFrank had the point for today's race. Brian Valentine, championship competitor to the outside. Robert DeFrank happy to be sitting at the front of the field for this race. He has not had too much luck this year. Caution one on the first lap, getting the action started relatively quick. Tyler Smith goes into the turn. He's going to pull down in front of Don Corio Jr. Ooh, hard contact into the wall for Tyler Smith and Don Corio Jr. in the 67. Both cars would be fine, however. But um, it looks like, ooh, we got some smoke. Okay, this is Shelby the Gray. Oh, um, Andrew Wiegand and Shelby Gray are going to get around. I see Will Coleman in there and I think Ian Perfetti. Cars with pit on lap two, a couple of them coming down. Brian Valentine and Maria Camiso being some of them. Five cars will like stay on track, um, including Sam Yonke, who is near the back of the pack in car number 73. She would be fifth coming to the green. This would be lap six. Excellent run by Sam Yonke in the 73, the unexpected most sport winner. Brother David was not doing as well, running about 12th, but um, he, he liked this consistency. He needs to get into these races and get himself locked in. Consistency is always better than, a, than um, finishing last. Josh LeMayo would head into the lead later on, passing Robert DeFrank, but Robert DeFrank would take it right underneath. Megan Curley sits right behind in the third place position. M. Dunlap is fighting to stay on the Benoit Motorsport Group team in car number 64, and he's doing a good job of that. He sits fourth right now in the Hot Topic Chevy. This could be a good race for one Adam Dunlap. Josh LeMayo would take the lead away from Robert DeFrank again. And then after that, we would have Robert DeFrank take it back from him. Then on the following lap, Brian Valentine takes it. And a lap after that, who, well, he's making a good move there, but next lap, Adam Dunlap would take the lead. This would be the pattern throughout the race of these four drivers exchanging the lead. Ian Perfetti, one of the championship competitors, not running a good race. He was sitting in the back of the pack in 24th, just ahead of Tyler Smith and right behind Will Coleman in car number 85. Ian Perfetti needs a good run today if he plans on winning this championship. Still hasn't gotten that win yet in the 56. He's overdue. Renee Gagnon was doing an exceptionally good job in car number 13. She has not had the luck that she would like to have this season, but she's going to steal a spot for fourth from Megan Curley in car number 46. The Carraz Motorsports group so far has only one victory, and that's with Josh LeMayo. Gabe Carraz and Renee Gagnon have come close on several occasions, but have not gotten that win. Here comes the pit stops, and a few drivers coming in, like Renee Gagnon, Brian Broat, Todd Benoit, and a few others, Shelby LeGray, rounding out that bunch. Megan Curley would take the lead for a brief spell under the caution, but um, would not keep it for very long. Car number 46, that very bright colored number, 46 Pontiac, was doing an exceptionally good job today. Maya, congrats to the 46 team, despite Jeff Evans, her teammate, not making the race. Under pit stop, Jamie Murphy took the lead for a brief spell. The Crown Royal car is yet to win this season, but has shown very good performances in the Chevy. This is a single car team they're hoping to expand later on in the season, maybe even next year. Renee Gagnon would take the lead coming off pit stops. This could be a good race for car number 13, helping her in the point standings, Major being the sponsor for this Ford. Renee Gagnon has been looking for that good run, and she's come second on numerous occasions, like that second place at most sport. Todd Benoit, car number 3, was also charging to the front. Now, he started like 23rd on the grid I, I believe and now he's all the way up to about second so he really wants this win today he has not won yet and he's going to challenge Renee Gagnon for the lead in the three he's going to lead that lap but Renee Gagnon is going to take a run underneath Brian Bro running in the third place position car number 42 he's looking to get a good finish today also this is a good day for drivers who have struggled the past race caution to lap 53 Bob Sadian is going to get up into 
Adam Dunlap and get put into the wall and spin. He's going to get turned around by car number 64. And he's going to get parked. Oh! Oh my god! Car number 04 is going barrel rolling. Oh! Car number 04 spinning on its roof down the straight. Oh, hard contact between him and Ian Perfait. This is off Ian Perfait's car. Ooh. Hard impact by car number 56. This is from New Need Pescake. Yeah, he's going to clip it a bit, and he's going to get some damage on that car. He's had a very unfortunate couple of weeks, and now here's going to be the, the scary angle. This is Bob Cedino in the Price Chopper Chevy. The she Okay, he's spinning. He's in the wall, and soon he's going to get hit by um, car number 90. Oh, okay. And, oh, this is... Oh, okay, we're, lo we're losing the camera here. Yeah, we've lost the camera. Uh... Yeah, both Bob Sadino and Ian Perfetti would go out of the race early. This has been a horrible season for Bob Sadino so far. Pit stops, a plethora of cars coming down pit road. But coming off pit lane, Rene Gagnon would assume the lead in car number 13. Now, we only have a few laps to go here, so this could get intense for the win. Todd Benoit making a strong battle toward the front, but Rene Gagnon is not going to let that go with ease. She's going to pass on the inside once again. Heavy lead changing between these two cars. Megan Curley sits in third. Caution three laps, 61. Ray Camiso is going to come to the turn two quick. It's going to clip Josh LeMayo, and Josh LeMayo is going to be an unlucky victim again. He got wrecked at the most sport event, too, after all. Megan Curley lost a tire. Both cars would be fine, but they would go out of the race. Here's another camera angle. This is Josh LeMayo going into the wall. And it's a shame. He led a good portion of laps today, too, and was looking for a good finish. Both these drivers would finish rather poorly today. Uh, it's been an upsetting day for car 61, but his teammates in the lead, Rene Gagnon, 13, is going to get passed by Tyler Benoit in this turn, however. But she's up near the front looking for that win. Matt Corio has had an awful season, but he's in today's race, and he's running really well. He's running ninth right now, and he moved up a few spots because of the Lameo and Camiso crash. He just barely avoided that. He's hoping that this could be a turnaround point. The JM Door Chevy has not fared too well at most tracks this season, failing to qualify for many. Shelby LeGrace having a really good day, despite that wreck earlier on. Huge turnaround by the 28. She started near the back of the pack also, and has worked her way up into the top five. She's right behind Megan Curley, who sits in um, third, I believe. Sorry, fourth. Here is Tyler Benoit. He would take the lead once again. Renee Gagnon's in second, and Shelby LeGray would move all the way up to third by this point. Rene Gagnon's not going to let that go with ease. Rene Gagnon's going to take it back with only three laps to go. But going on to the final lap, Tyler Benoit is going to take the lead in car number three. Three wide almost for the lead. Oh, and Rene Gagnon's going to get shuffled up to the top of the racetrack. Shelby LeGray's going to take the spot and try and take it away from Tyler Benoit. Now at the Darlington race, Shelby LeGray almost won. So close to victory there, but mechanical issue would put her out of the race putting her into the wall. Tyler Benoit has not won at all this season despite being near the top of the points for the majority of it. The x Perry TTX Chevy running down the back stretch going into turn three. Shelby the Great following. Renee Gagnon's kind of lost its lead here. They, she's pretty far back from these guys. Um, she's probably going to finish third. Here comes Shelby the Great down the back stretch. She's going to have to get a lot of momentum if she wants to pass car number three. Um, here we go. She's trying to duck low but I don't think it's going to be enough. Coming to the line. Going to cross the bricks. Tyler Benoit in car number three is going to win his first Utica Home Track Series race today. Uh, if Shelby Gray only had one more lap. But congratulations to the Benoit Motorsports Group, guys. Matt Evans has won two races for this team. Tyler Benoit is going to be the third victor. Adam Dunlap is yet to win in car number 64. Maybe he can be the third winner. Uh, good run for the Benoit Motor Group. An excellent race to finish there. And great turnaround from all these drivers. Benoit started 23rd and won. Here are the race results. Now, Tyler Benoit is the winner from way back in the field. Same with LeGray and Gagnon. Megan Curley is going to finish outstanding fourth. Brian Broth the Zanfort winner fifth. Matt Corio is going to finish sixth. It's going to be good for his season. Wiegand, Valentine, Dunlap, Samantha Yankee pulling off the top ten. Um, Evans and City will finish next to each other, but no problems occurred. They probably worked this out. David Yankee finishing 15th. Camiso... Corio Jr. and LeMay all had struggling days. Same with Tyler Smith and Mooney Pesquet. Bob Sadino and Ian Perfetti 
were out of the race at race end. Here are the top 10 in the point standings. Todd Benoit leads with 191 points. Huge lead over Brian Valentine after this win. Maria Camiso, Ian Perfetti, John Cedino, Brian Bro, Megan Curley, Shelby LeGray, Jamie Murphy, and Andrew Wiegand. A lot of those drivers move into the top 10 after this race. Next race, we're going to Great Britain to the Silverstone Road Course. I hope to see you there. This should be a fun race.